Till Jimenez joining us with more. It was deja vu for District 1 students, parents and teachers, but this time with a new promise as most teachers received the COVID-19 vaccine. The school bell rang early Monday morning, desks once again filled with little minds ready to learn. Yuma School District 1 made the official return to the classroom, seeing 70% of children attended the first day back. I am very excited to see them in the classroom and, and, and it's kind of nice because then I don't have as many students online. I Virtual learning didn't come easy for some teachers, like one PE teacher from Gila Vista Junior right High School trying to get his students active. I can't wait for the students to come back so I can actually have them, you know, show them in person where I'm not struggling to have, hold my camera and then have the iPad in my right hand and be like, this is how you guys do a jumping jack, guys. Both teachers, like many others across the district, happy they can once again teach in the classroom, but still say they won't lose sight of those who choose to continue virtual learning. But in the classroom is where Arizona Governor Doug Ducey says children belong, recently implementing a new executive order saying districts must start giving the option for in-person learning by March 15th or after spring break. District 1 making the choice to return even before Governor Ducey's announcement. Yeah, you know, we've been uh, using a data-based approach since the beginning, and we've been monitoring the community spread metrics. But we've heard that before, metrics showing a downward trend only for COVID-19 cases to climb again, leading schools that reopened during the pandemic to once again close. However, this time around, there's promise of staying open for good. As Superintendent Sheldahl says, 70% of teachers have received the COVID-19 vaccine. We had a really high participation rate among our teachers and among our other staff members. So that's a, that's a good sign. District 1 school also following COVID-19 mitigation plans, prepared for whatever comes their way, including offering rapid COVID-19 tests upon parent approval for sick kids in hopes to eventually return to normalcy. Summerton School District announced its return to the classroom next Monday. Gadsden Elementary School District also began vaccinating its staff last Friday. Still no word on when they will return to the classroom. Reporting in Yuma, Chris Jimenez, News 11. Well, good evening to you at home. Some news across the border tonight. Good news, in fact, with the vaccine.